Dave Murray, born David Michael Murray on the 23rd of December, in Edmonton, London is an English guitarist and songwriter. Dave is best known as one of the original members of the Iron Maiden. He joined the band just two months after their inception in 1975. As a boy, Murray was a fanatical football player and fan as well as a keen cricketer. But his family was poor, his father was disabled and his mother worked part-time as a cleaner, and the family never settled anywhere long enough for Murray to establish himself in any of the school's teams he could have played for. By his reckoning, he had been to a dozen different schools by the time he left for good at the age of 16. Murray developed an interest in rock music when he was 15 after hearing Voodoo Child, Slight Return, by Jimi Hendrix on the radio. He got his first guitar and being such a keen guitarist, he would practice up to seven hours a day. He formed his first band, a trio called Stone Free. This band also included Adrian Smith, guitar vocals who would later become a member of Iron Maiden. From there, Murray had played with a number of different bands before meeting Steve Harris and joining Iron Maiden for the first time in 1976. He briefly left the band following an argument with then-vocalist Dennis Wilcock. Murray rejoined Smith in a band called Urchin. During this short tenure with the band he recorded one single titled, She's a Roller. Following the single Murray left Urchin and returned to Iron Maiden as Wilcock had left the band during Murray's hiatus. Murray's guitar style throughout his career has been mainly of the legato-based solo variety. This can be seen in songs from their first self-titled album, such as Phantom of the Opera, to the watery solo from Lightning Strikes Twice, to songs from their 2006 release A Matter of Life and Death, such as its lead single The Reincarnation of Benjamin Brieg. Murray's sound and style can be distinguished from Janik's and Adrian Smith's style, mostly because of his frequent use of the neck pickup. Murray is noted for having naturally strong fingers and frequently using hammer ONS and pull-offs. Murray has also written for the band, though less often than other band members. Usually leaving lyrics to someone else, he occasionally co-writes songs, with Charlotte the Harlot being his sole composition released. Murray and Harris are the only members of Iron Maiden to have appeared on every one of the band's albums. In his spare time Murray is an avid golfer, a scene in the Rock in Rio DVD. Murray and his wife Tamer have one daughter named Tasha. Adrian Smith, born Adrian Frederick Smith on 27 February 1957 is an English guitarist. He is one of three guitarists for Iron Maiden. He is one of the main songwriters in Iron Maiden. He also sings backing vocals on some songs, along with Steve Harris. While at school, Adrian befriended Dave Murray and formed his first band Urchin as lead singer and lead guitarist. Adrian had bought his first guitar from Murray, a Woolworths Top 20, for 5 quid, later he painted it gold and sold it again for 12 quid, as he states in the early days DD. Murray left Urchin to join Iron Maiden, the new band of another local musician, Steve Harris. Smith continued to front Urchin, with limited success, until joining Maiden in late 1980 for The Killers album, released in 1981, replacing Dennis Stratton. Smith first wrote songs for Maiden on the 1982 album The Number of the Beast, and was the band's secondary songwriter from then on, often in cooperation with Bruce Dickinson. Smith and Dave Murray combined playing dual lead guitars helping to forge the trademark sound of Iron Maiden. Some notable lead duets are Two Minutes to Midnight, Alexander the Great, and Rime of the Ancient Mariner. Notable solos include Wasted Years, Stranger in a Strange Land, and The Wicker Man. Adrian's solos are usually composed rather than improvised. His legato playing is very smooth and fast and typically even his very fast passages have a musical function and relationship to the chord structure behind the solo, drawing from modes and arpeggios which are more often from blues licks. Smith released a solo LP with the band ASAP, Adrian Smith and project titled Silver and Gold in 1989. Following its release, Smith departed from Iron Maiden in 1990 when recordings for the No Prayer for the Dying album were about to start, and was replaced by Janikshas. It is widely believed that Adrian left due to his unhappiness with the direction the band was taking, after releasing the experimental Somewhere in Time and Seventh Son of a Seventh Son albums, Steve Harris had decided to take the band back to a more traditional hard rock direction which can clearly be heard on the No Prayer for the Dying album. This album featured one last song co-penned by Adrian with Bruce Dickinson, Hooks in You. Bruce Dickinson's comment on Adrian. When he left the band in 1990, I think everybody was a bit surprised at how much we missed him and certainly, I don't think anybody had realized how much the fans would miss him big time. I wouldn't have rejoined Iron Maiden if he wasn't in the band. I just don't think it would have been complete without Adrian, and now, it's great having three guitarists. 
In 1996, Adrian joined forces with former Halloween vocalist, Michael Kisk on Kisk's solo album Instant Clarity. He plays guitar on a few tracks and co-wrote a few songs. Later, Adrian formed his alternative rock-influenced band Psycho Motel. This band was a progression from an earlier music project of his, The Untouchables, which had featured some of the members from ASAP and Jamie Stewart, former bassist of the rock group The Cult. The band recorded two albums, State of Mind, 1996 and Welcome to the World, 1997. Smith would also play on Bruce Dickinson's Accident of Birth and the Chemical Wedding albums. The influence of this more progressive direction, as well as Adrian's heavier rhythm guitar playing, on Iron Maiden's own performances since he rejoined the band is clear. On the 22nd of August 1992 Smith made a brief appearance on stage with Maiden to play, Running Free, during the Castle Donington Monsters of Rock Festival. In 1999, Smith rejoined Iron Maiden for the Ed Hunter Tour, a tour in support of the video game of the same name. Since then, Iron Maiden have released six studio albums, Brave New World in 2000, Dance of Death in 2003, A Matter of Life and Death in 2006, The Final Frontier in 2010, The Book of Souls in 2015, and Senjutsu in 2021. He remains with the band to this day. Janik Robertschers, pronounced Y.A. Nick Gers, born January 27, 1957 in Hartlepool, England is an English musician and one of three guitarists for Iron Maiden. He is one of the main songwriters for Iron Maiden. His father, Bolslaw, was an officer of the Polish Navy. Gers was the lead guitarist of the band White Spirit before joining Gillen, a group formed by then former Deep Purple vocalist Ian Gillen. After Gillen disbanded, he joined Gogmagog, which included former Iron Maiden members vocalist Paul Diano and drummer Clive Burr. Jez also performed with other artists including former Marillion vocalist Fish. In 1990, he played guitar on the first solo album of Iron Maiden vocalist Bruce Dickinson, Tattooed Millionaire. During the recording of the album he was asked to join Iron Maiden in place of departing Adrian Smith. He has remained with the band ever since, even after Smith rejoined the band in 1999. Jus' playing style uses heavy distortion and is noted for having a very raw tone. He prefers alternate picking instead of playing legato using hammers and pull-offs. Jus is also left-handed although he plays guitar right-handed, as seen at the Rockin' Rio DVD signing autographs. Jus' main influences are Richie Blackmore, Jeff Beck and Irish blues guitarist Rory Gallagher. He is noted for his energetic stage presence. He can often be seen bouncing up and down and occasionally does tricks with his guitar, such as spinning it around his body while playing, or throwing it into the air, catching it. <laughs>